People who lost their job due to this crisis what is your story? Yeah I just got hired last week but I think that my first workday isn't gonna happen. That sucks, be strong buddy. I started two weeks ago as a software developer. I'm already working remotely, but since I don't have people nearby I have to rely on learning through video and text chat. Work's been hard. I'm a server. I haven't worked since the 14th, but was officially laid off on the 18th. Where I am, temporary layoff is only 60 days. If we are not back by then, we lose our jobs permanently. It couldn't have come at a worse time since we have new management and there's been some murmurs about getting new staff. I was about to lose my apartment, unrelated, but my landlord phoned me up to let me know that he is no longer making me leave and not to worry about April rent. He also gave me $150 to go buy groceries. He's a bro. I'm trying to get through to A, which is all online right now, but the site keeps crashing so I'm unable to make a claim right now. I'm sitting in a meeting right now, waiting to get fired. The VP is running late. So that's cool. They wanted a coworker and I to reduce our hours to half each, because they could only afford one of us and didn't want to make a redundancy. In the end, I took the redundancy. I'm 21 and live at home, meals provided. My coworker is a 30 year slash o homeowner with bills and an unemployed girlfriend. Him losing half his income for me seemed wrong. Better me than him. That's the kind of kindness that will get us through this. Wishing you all the best when this thing is over. I was laid off from my five-year graphic design job, working for a screen printing and promotional products company. About half of our business involves schools, sports, and events. Obviously none of that is happening currently, so our business has stagnated. They are going to try to operate with a skeleton crew for the next couple months. The hope is to bring everyone back eventually, but I'm not optimistic. Solidarity. I'm a web developer, pretty much the same industry. Fabric decor, projection screens, giant shade structures, etc. I'm optimistic things will bounce back eventually, and I trust my CEO that I will be called back when that happens, he's always been extremely good to all of the employees, and we're good friends at this point, but I'm not optimistic that it'll happen within the next few months. I got a call congratulating me on getting a job two days before a hiring freeze went into place at the university I applied to. I never saw my contract, nor do I have any work. Just lost it about an hour ago. I'm a restaurant manager and then they called me and told me to turn in my keys by the end of the day. I'm in quarantine and can't. They are sending me a UPS box so I can send in my keys and told me to file for unemployment. Never expected this to happen to me. I'm in shock like what I'm going to do. Hey thanks for the well wishes and advice I live in NJ and I already filed last night. Everyone else in my shoes read these comments. On top of being really sick it was a kick to the stomach but we will get through it. If you are in the UK, the major supermarkets are on a recruitment drive with a fast turnaround of getting people in position. I know this isn't a story about losing a job but hopefully this helps someone coming to this thread. I haven't been laid off, but I answer for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and we are having so many calls where someone is thinking about killing themselves because they were laid off. This virus is causing so much damage, and there's never enough resources. Hey, I also answer calls for Lifeline and the Disaster and Distress Helpline. It's fucking rough on the lines right now. Sending you lots of support and love, heart. Construction. The whole construction site was laid off, and with the way things are going, the company owner thinks it'll be at least a year before they consider hiring me back. Started three months ago, and that's at least 50 other people affected, just for this site. The company had several other sites that they laid off employees to. I'm just lucky I'm still living with my parents, and dad works as online IT for the general public so he's nice and busy. Not me, but my wife has been told that basically we'll call you if we need you, and they don't really need anyone tbh. She hasn't worked a minute since the 13th. And my sister was a bartender at an arcade, so she's totally fucked. She's been laid off with the promise of reinstatement when they reopen. It's almost worse to be left in limbo like this than it is just to be fired outright. I was laid off indefinitely from two different hourly paying line cooking jobs on Monday till the 50 hours combined slash week, I helped clean out one of the restaurants Wednesday. We discarded a lot of stuff. I helped clean out all of the coolers and throw away a lot of prepped food that people didn't slash couldn't take home. Employees were encouraged to take what they wanted, produce, dairy, meat etc. The place is almost completely empty, it's surreal. My spouse was laid off indefinitely Wednesday. She manages a restaurant and is salaried with benefits, tilde 50 hours slash week. 
she was told that management will not be paid until the place reopens. Our family currently has no work or income. We have a young child. These are very uncertain times. To the young child part, that happened to me after 9-11. WIC, Medicaid for the kid, unemployment benefits. Now is the time to pursue them all. They were a lifesaver for me. You've been paying into this your entire working career via unemployment insurance deductions, so don't feel guilty about using what's available. My experience is pretty unique. In a nutshell, my wife and I live in New Zealand and had planned a two-year working visa in Toronto. We were supposed to leave in April, so we had obviously already handed in our notices of resignation to our bosses. Long story short, Canada shut its borders and my boss has already hired my replacement. As a side note, they shut the borders on my birthday. I'm a substitute teacher. If you are aware that most schools are closing if they haven't already, then that should explain why all subs are now effectively unemployed. It's unlikely that schools will return during this situation, so yes, thousands of people are out of work just from that alone. Subs don't make salary, so any employee who is hourly or paid by day now needs to scramble. I worked at Hyatt. I was hired as an intern fresh out of college for a year. Most of Hyatt's interns were actually internationals from Europe. Hyatt paid us minimum wage which is crazy once you learn how expensive NYC is. Two months ago they recently hired a guy from the Netherlands and just two weeks ago another girl also from the Netherlands have just moved to NYC for this internship and had moved to her apartment just last week. Two days ago HR called us for a meeting and said effective Monday we were no longer employed by Hyatt. They refused to pay us any of our sick or personal days which I had seven days worth. For the interns that have recently moved to NYC HR basically said you're on your own not our problem nothing we can do to help. Saul. Being laid off is one thing but having the HR director tell us that they were not intending in paying any of our sick days, or personal days was a slap in the face and a massive dick move. I had intended to work till Saturday which was my last scheduled day. Since they were not paying my sick days I just called off my last three days so I can at least get three sick days paid. Hyatt saying is we care for people so they can be their best they really show their true colors and I would never work for Hyatt or stay in any of their property for as long as I live. I haven't lost my job, but my small software company instituted 30% pay cut across the board. They say it'll be re-evaluated every month. Clients keep cancelling or postponing projects. So I'm good this month, but could easily lose it next month. I'm just happy they decided to cut pay instead of fire 30% of the workforce, so everyone can keep their health coverage. That and I'm not sure I wouldn't have been part of that 30%. My job as a barista was shut down for safety and because nobody is coming in, anyway. And my summer job, teaching kids how to swim at a sleepaway camp, is cancelled because the camp decided not to open. While I'm not in danger of losing my house or starving, I am now unable to afford to continue going to college next semester. My husband got laid off on Tuesday. He works about three minutes down the road from my work. He showed up at my work with tears in his eyes, apologizing to me for not doing good enough to be kept. He works at a car dealership as an auto technician, where they let go of four techs that day cause of decreasing business. They're letting go of more people this Saturday. My brother is a mechanic there, and is scared to lose his job too. They told my husband that when business picks back up, they might call and ask him to come work for them again. Thankfully, I work in the lab of a hospital, so my job is pretty secure. I keep telling my husband that we'll get through it, but I know it's taking a toll on him.